Oh, she's gonna finally eat her piece of chicken. She's such a little brat. So of course, it's gonna be 100 degrees in about 25 minutes. Took the screens out and hurried up and made myself breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yep, that is a boiled egg, chicken, veggies, and potatoes. I didn't eat anything yesterday. Oh, sorry. I had crackers and water all day yesterday. Yes, feeling a teeny bit better. Thank you for asking. And now I'm ready to just finish watching Olympics. Eat a little bit. Have a little bit of sugar. My sugar was a little low this morning. And keep it pushing. Water, water, water. Water, water, water. I made sure the babies had fresh cold water cool water excuse me i got their ice cubes already when i do go pee pee i go to the refrigerator grab a huge chunk of ice i didn't find the ice cubes at the time so i just put ice in a freezer bag and laid it flat in the freezer you hit it on the side of the refrigerator and then you got nice little ice chunks so everybody gets cool water every three hours or so I'm going to force myself to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner today and feel better, do better, be better. That's always the plan. Do better, be better. So, uh, let's put our feet up for another three hours or so. Yes, I'll have to go pee by then. And let's get to working on something. I don't know what. I would probably cut paper dolls because it's very soothing to my body. All of it is soothing for various reasons. I don't mind if you look at my pretty legs. Don't mind at all. Um, but paper, I don't have to think about anything at all. You just cut. So I'm going to print up something. should have did that first, huh? Whatever, I have kits right there. I use those up. Make you guys cute little something something to put in your bags. And yes, the six of you that I still owe stuff to, your stuff is right there. I'm never going to forget you. I, I think that's the one good thing I'm uh, great at remembering. If I tell you and if I didn't, you can gently remind me. Um, usually if I tell a person I'm going to make you something. Or, when I see such and such that I know you like, I'll make that for you. Yeah. So, I haven't forgotten you. Because I am overjoyed that all of you helped me get here to my beautiful house. So me and my babies could be safe and happy and just keep it pushing. Oh. Now, I wait for it to get a little misty feeling on, my, on the top of my head. And then I take my kitty litter thing and go fill it up fill it halfway with cold water out of the shower put it in there and I now I've learned to only run that for maybe an hour maximum because then the room starts feeling humid and that's not comfortable either so I set my timer put it back on the fan where it's at right now you could probably barely hear me sorry about that I shouldn't I should have uh, waited to turn that up a bit but anyway I hope you're having a beautiful day. I hope you're feeling good. I hope all your brain marbles are in the right holes. You're thinking well. You're able to get up like me and Princess at 6.30 and go for a walk around the complex, get some exercise, and drink plenty of water. Please check on all the old people. You know they're not gonna ask for help. You know they're not gonna ask for help. Help your neighbors that you haven't seen in two days. You know? You know Miss Green ain't going to, baby, can you help? No. So go pull her trash can in, put it by her back door, front door, wherever her kitchen is, I don't know, and put an, a frozen water bottle in her, in a plain water, water bottle in between the screen and the front door. If you know they like treats, get them a, you know, piece of candy or something, even if, if it might melt, or I trust it's still snowing someplace, whatever, you know what I mean. You cannot sit here and just forget about your elderly neighbors 
you know that are fucking sweating in that house because if they have the strength to open the windows or well, they probably don't want to leave them open all night if they're fearful you know but they would have opened them this morning for a couple of hours ask them do you need help closing the windows do you have a fan i mean come on i truly am, i truly and honestly believe that's why this everything is so fucked up think about it every time we have a national na national disaster what do you think that is that's mother nature saying hey help each other that's what i think you don't have to think what i think that's just what i think and then we help each other out with this crisis the earthquake the tsunami da 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 da, da. and then we go back to hating each other again kind of backwards no Please remember your elderly neighbors. Please. I was thinking about that all day yesterday as I'm laying in bed all day feeling like I'm having Rosemary's baby. And, you know, if I were in a worse position than this, I, I, I bet they're just cooking themselves to death because you know most old folks close all the windows and doors keep the cool in no you don't bake yourself to death when it's 110 degrees even if it's hot air you have to have some circulation seniors come on now you have to have some circulation if you don't have a fan and then it's still blowing around hot air unless you put a bowl of ice cubes in front of the fan or unless you have one of those uh a little tiny baby six by eight inch swamp cooler sitting in front of your face so you can breathe hello Stop leaving the windows and doors closed all day and all night. It's not cool then. You're baking yourself to death. Okay? Check on the seniors, please. Anybody you know, if females, you know, single males that have babies, children, check on them. They need help. They're not going to ask for help. You know? That's what we all put here for. All billions of us put here to help each other. Not just complain about fucking whatever the fuck is going on in the news that's crazy help your neighbors all the time in the winter they need their their snow shoveled and trash can put out and they can't you know walk that good or something i don't know you know what the hell i'm talking about you picking up what i'm putting down so when you go to the store buy miss johnson you know a case of water so she don't have to keep she can just leave it right there in her bedroom she don't have to go all the way to the kitchen well, you know, a lot of old people still live in the house they lived in for 50 years. So, and especially if it's upstairs, that's a long ass walk. Sheesh, you know, remember your seniors, people who just had brand new babies and it's probably not the most comfortable thing yet. I don't know how you mothers do it. Kudos to you mothers. <laughs> I only had a hysterectomy and I couldn't move for like 30 days. So kudos to y'all, you know, uh, yeah, we all need a little help. And I don't know why it is you guys refuse to ask for help. We're supposed to ask each other for help. No matter what your belief system is, we could ask for some water. We could ask for, you know, a cupcake, uh, 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 something. Or you could just think of them and just drop it off. Just drop it off. Have some tape in the car so you could tape it to the door or, cause you know, legally we're not supposed to put nothing in the mailbox if they can make it to the mailbox you know it doesn't it's not going to hurt you to get a couple of bottles of water for the neighbors all of them not just one you're like children now you know twice a child once an adult you're a child you grow up and then you go back to revert back to childhood when you're a senior yeah they're not always going to think about that you know by the time they get to the bottom of the stairs, they forgot what they wanted, go back upstairs again, didn't get no water, didn't go pee, didn't, you know, lock the front door, nothing. Help them. That's all of our jobs in, in, in this world, to help each other. Come on. Let's not forget about that. Doesn't matter if you know them or not. You can leave a damn bottle of water. No? Yeah. You can't. 